What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Red, host of the IH3 show here on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. Listen, this is another episode of the Real Talk with Red segment. But today's segment is going to be a special episode. It is entitled In Pursuit of Purpose, God's Love is Indescribable. And I have two co hosts today that will be hosting today's episode, none other than uh, Stephanie Poplar and Robin Worrell Thorne of Celebrate Greatness out of Baltimore. And that station can be heard every Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. on Spirit 1400. You can uh, search, um, I think it's my Baltimore. MySpiritBaltimore.com. But anyway, all the links will be below in the information box. And you can also see it on the annotation here. And also go into the website to where you can listen live weekdays as well as on Saturday from 10 to 11 to the Celebrate Greatness broadcast. And you can also visit them on Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash Celebrate Greatness now. Um, and lastly, you can, if you're on the go, you can listen to them on your phone on the TuneIn app. Just search Spirit 1400 and uh, you can listen to the broadcast there. But this broadcast is entitled, like I said, um, In Pursuit of Purpose, God's Love is Indescribable. And they have a special guest, uh, none other than Pastor John P. Key. So I don't. I'm not going to be before you any longer. Please listen to today's broadcast. And it's a little lengthy, but you will enjoy it and will be blessed. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at rh3show.gmail.com for any other uh, interview per interview inquiries, or you can also visit my website at inside Mr. rh3.weebly.com to inquire about um, to be interviewed or to inquire about the show or to see getting on the show know that i love you for real and i'll see you next time here on the irish 3 show here is today's episode in pursuit of purpose god's love is indescribable good morning good morning welcome to celebrate greatness where greatness meets face to face i'm your host robin and um stephanie is here as well and we are today we have a a great topic for you. Our topic is God's purpose for your life. And we are also going to be met with a wonderful person who's going to join us shortly. And we are happy to be here. And we want to also say happy 4th of July to you all. Um, the weather, it looks like the weather is not cooperating today, but that's all right. We're still going to have some fireworks, and we're still going to celebrate Independence Day as we always do here at Spirit 1400 AM. Stephanie? Hi, good morning, good morning. It's truly a blessing to be here. I thank you, Robin, and I just thank all of our listeners for tuning in to Celebrate Greatness, where greatness meets face-to-face -face here on Spirit 1400. And we do have such a treat for you. And right now, we just want to play a little bit of Pastor John P. Key's song, and then we're going to play. Glory, glory, glory. What a Ooh. mighty God we serve. I tell you, Robin, I am so excited for what God is doing in our lives. And you know, as much as we are excited about what God is doing in our lives, we must understand that we have to be prayerful because the word says watch as well as pray. So Amen. as God blessing and bringing forth promotion and giving increase and opening up doors and closing doors, some doors that need mm -hmm. to be closed, we have to know that the adversary likes to sneak in and, yes. and try to cause uh, uh, di discouragement, distress, um, all the negativity. However, we have to be able to put on a whole armor and understand that when there's purpose and where there's greatness and where there's God, that there's no confusion. But we know that the adversary is the author. I mean, we know that God is the author and the finisher of our faith, but we know that the adversary comes seeking whom he may devour. So having said that, we know that you have a prayer 
that you would like to share here on Celebrate Greatness. Yes, yes. Good morning. Um, Heavenly Father, we're going to go to the throne of grace right now. Heavenly Father, we come to you as humbly as we know how. Just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all you've done and all you're going to do in our lives. Thank you for blessing and saving a sinner like me. Lord God, I thank you for now faith, the yes. substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Lord, I thank you just for being God all by yourself. Lord, I thank you because even in um, disappointment and, and things that we think are not right, you have a purpose even in that. Glory. And Lord, I thank you because on the other side of everything that we go through, you've known that we're going to go through it. You know the beginning and the end. You are the author and finisher of, of our faith. Lord, I ask that you will bless and have your way, that it will be a safe holiday for everyone. I, bless, I ask that you will bless and have your way in the lives of my family, my friends, all my um, radio friends here today, I ask that you will bless Stephanie's family. I ask that you will bless our guests today. And Lord Jesus, as we go in the pursuit of purpose, we want, we know that your love is indescribable. So even when we go through those things, Lord God, we know that you are there for us. Lord, I ask that you will bless Minister Baylor. Have Thank your way you, in her life. Yes, God. Lord God, she Lord is God. a woman of God, and we just trust and Thank know you, that Jesus. you have her. She's, she has a story, Lord God, and she's overcome by her testimony. And I just thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, I pray today. My soul says amen. Amen, amen. You, Lord, have mercy. You sent up some timber, as my Aunt Thelma will always say. And speaking of Aunt Thelma, I just want to wish the linen or pray um, for the linen family. Um, unfortunately, we had lost Aunt Thelma two years ago. Mm -hmm. And just this week past, um, we've uh, lost one of her daughters, her youngest daughters, her Thank second you. to the youngest. Um, my cousin found her mom's dead, and mm -hmm. she was only 53 years old. But what's amazing is God has a way Again, as we always say, God is the author and the finisher of our faith. But God has a way of confirming his word uh, for your life. And so six months ago, this particular cousin, Loretta, called me and she said, Stephanie, she said, you don't know who you're talking to, do you? And I said, no, who am I talking to? She said, you're talking to your cousin, Loretta, girl. So we laughed and she said, I called to tell you that. God is good. God is real. And she said, I want to thank you for believing in God and for always being positive and trusting God. And she said, through your Facebook, she said, that um, page, it keeps us connected. And she said, I hope you're not worrying about anything. Yeah. And she said, uh, I say that because she said, if anybody know that God is real, you know God is real. Now, that message she gave me six months ago was very much needed for this week. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, any and everything, uh, opposition had been coming, adversity. But her message, when I found out that she had passed, her message to me six months ago became so real because of the oppositions that were, I was facing this week. So, God, we have to know that God uses any and everyone yes, yes. for us. And I, as I often say, uh, that God, um, your blessings, God uses people, places, and things for your next level. Yes. So we thank God for this radio airways, which is no, is not free for us, but because we believe in t sowing into the lives of the body of Christ and sowing into the community, we press our way yes, and do yes, celebrate yes. greatness. Thank you. Where greatness meets face to face. And so for, for those of you who've just tuned into the broadcast you are tuned in to celebrate greatness here on spirit spirit 1400 with robin and stephanie and today's topic is in pursuit of purpose god's love is indescribable mm -hmm. so we're talking about all the stuff in between the trials the tribulations the tests that god's purpose can still be be magnified and it could be um i would say moved and 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 be in you because a lot of times when we're going through these trials and tribulations we don't see right. a lot of times the working of god we don't mm -hmm. see the blessing why me why not you come and, on and, now mm. look at your book and i have a testimony come I, on now. I have to say this um earlier last week i fell in the middle of um, Wolf Street, a what? busy intersection. Wow. And oh my goodness, and it was, I got dizzy and I fell down and I hurt my arm really bad and um, I couldn't get up. I felt really, really dizzy. And there were people walking over me because that 
that part of town you you see people i guess um maybe using drugs or drinking or whatever and so i found it was a busy time of day it was early in the morning it was 8 30 in the morning and i really was trying to get my bearings my shoe was on one side of the street and um a pocketbook was open things were falling out my pocketbook and people were walking over me so uh this one guy caucasian brother came up to me and he said are you okay and i said no i just can't get my bearings so he helped me up and when he lifted me up it didn't even feel like it was a he was a thin brother he told me later he was uh, young 21 it didn't even feel like he was lifting me it felt like i was uh-huh. just floating so he, uh-huh. he got me up and he was he, he was wearing a yellow shirt he was blonde you know pale just a vision like he was bright and it just seemed like Wow, where did he come from? Because in this area, it's a certain type of people you see going to work or you see people from that neighborhood. Well, anyway, um, he helped me up. He walked me all the way to my office, up to the eighth floor. He told the security, I got her, don't worry. He came into my office. He told the people in the office, back up, I got her. He cleaned off the wound. He, oh you know, he asked for first aid kit. He cleaned oh, off the wound. Mercy. And he um, helped me. And he said, I'm usually not down here, but today, he's a student. He said, but today I had to come down here. And if you need me, this is the building I'm in. If you need me this week when you're walking from your car, I'll walk you. I'll carry your bags. And so um, I say all this to say he... He said, here's my information if you need to get in touch with me. Lord, have mercy. So I didn't look at the information until the next day, and it had Joshua, Psalms 23, on the paper. Lord, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd. Come on. I said, where did this guy come from? And I know that the Lord sent him. Yes. People were walking around me that work with me every day. They may not have noticed that it was me that felt, but people that work in the hospital with me, and he just came out of nowhere. It was meant for us to meet each other on that day. And he put Psalm 23 on that page. And the next day I looked at that and all I could do is shout. My and God. the arm is feeling good. The arm oh, is feeling you. better. And Doc says it's going to swell. It's sprained. You need to wear a, a sling. I'm not in a sling today. I got a little Band-Aid on the arm. And I am feeling good. And I just thank you, Joshua, if you're out there. But I just thank God for you. And I've been reading Psalms 23. And I just thank God for the word of God because it God is a healer. Yes, God is. Yes. You know, it sounds like what you experience is a Romans 828 experience. Amen. I always say that. And because uh, sometimes we have to take the scriptures to um, to encourage ourselves. You know, a lot of times when we are, I would say God uses us as change agents. A lot of times we better be prepared that there's going to be opposition and some things coming and we're going to have to be able to pull that word to encourage us when we go through. But that Romans 828 says all things work together yes, for the yes. good of them that that love God, who are called according, according to, to his purpose. purpose. Going back in pursuit of purpose. Yes, yes, Wow, yes. that's deep. And for those of you who would like to be a part of our discussion today in pursuit of purpose, God's love is indescribable. Our number here in the studio is 410-481-1400. And we are looking forward to our um, big blessing. I did talk to Pastor John P. Key's assistant this morning, so prayerfully nothing um, deviates or circumvent or prevent him from being able to call in. Mm-hmm. So I'm just um, just excited for what God is doing. So we are streaming live. Tell your family members and friends they can hear the broadcast by going to tune in and typing in Spirit 1400 or they can just go straightly to the website, which is www.mybaltimorespirit.com. And for those of you who reside in the Baltimore metropolitan area, you know, you can hit us up on 1400 a.m. in your cars, at your homes. But as we talk about in pursuit of purpose, Mm -hmm. we know, Robin, you've been blessed with a book. Yes, yes, and when how folks, we made it over. Yes, Ooh. and when folks read your your chapter, you know, they're going to find themselves giving God a praise. They're going to yes. find themselves, uh, I would say, doing an assessment. They're going to find themselves with a little tear coming down mm-hmm. just because of God being grateful. So I know that if we would ask our listeners, how do you define or describe God's love as it relates to your purpose and what all you've been through, we would come up with several words you know so 
we want to hear a little bit as we prepare uh, to just, you know, dive into the topic, the pursuit of purpose. We want to hear a little bit of what Kiki said. And for those of you uh, on next Saturday, J- July the 11th, you can uh, come to the DMV and hear Pastor John P. Key. You can hear uh, uh, Kiki Sherd. You can also hear uh, Pastor uh, was it Dietrich. Um, Dietrich and, and Yes, and many more. They're going to be here up in Prince George's County, I believe at the Showplace Arena. Yes. So if you need more information, I'll make sure that you have a contact name and number but they will be here to minister to us. But let's hear a little bit what Kiki said in the scrap. Glory, 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 glory. Wow. I tell you, that's a profound song right there. How do you describe God? Oh, God, I was just looking on Second Corinthians 9, 15. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Oh, just the gift of life. Sometimes we just feel like, oh, goodness, why me? And why am I going through this? And you were created with a purpose. And God is just using you, sometimes not even for you, for someone else, but to get you to another level in him. So the more we go through, the more blessed we'll be because we're going to another level in him. If we get through, if we get up this mountain and we don't have to climb it again, We've succeeded. So um, just don't keep going through the same thing. Just keep asking the Lord to bless you so you don't have to keep going through the same thing. He can bless you to move to the next level. I just thank God for God. That's profound right there, Robin. You said enough. I, I think you want uh, an offering. I think you want an offering. No, just like <laughs> <laughs> Because it, it's so easy when you start operating, as my mother always say, when you 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 start operating in the natural and the carnality and start operating in, mm-hmm. in um in the flesh for you to start dwelling on what has happened to you woe is me right, right. and it's just amazing that on all this week um she, my mom is 80 years old and she's found herself saying to me you need to look at the word you need to stick with the word stay yeah. with the word and so many times um we 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 need to be able to do that but if we're not careful that situation just come upon you and then next thing you know you you finding yourself saying things that's contrary to the word yep. and so in this season as we pursue our purpose and as we uh, look at God's love and how God's love is in de- is indescribable we have to remind ourselves that we can make it that we going we going to have to speak the positive things and I found myself having to repent a couple times week this oh, week sure. which we suppose to repent daily mm-hmm. because the out of the mouth proceed of blessings and curses. Yes, yes. So yes. the adversary we have to be careful that that which God has blessed us with that we don't curse it. So yes. maybe perhaps you're going through you've asked God for a job but you're having or a career and you're having some challenges on that mm-hmm. and then you you don't want to take on that attitude or take on or get with I'm going to say the crowd that is oh yeah speak negative or or think contrary you want to still speak blessings over everything that you're affiliated with maybe that marriage that relationship whatever it is that we have to understand that in this season as we're pursuing our God-given purpose that we're going to have good we're going to have bad but Mm -hmm. we all know that everything is working out for our good good Good. according to Romans 8 28 yes so As we look at purpose, when you had, if I may ask Robin, when you had gone through your situations, your tests and your, did you, did you see at that moment, did you already know the end result? No, no. Yes, no. I, I understand. <laughs> it. So As you a matter of fact, it. I helped, I, I dwelled in it for a moment, just the sadness and the hurt of it all. I dwelled in that. I dwelled in that um, domestic violence and that rape. I just said, oh, my God, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I sat in that for years. It affected other relationships. It affected just my life in general. It, it was it was awful. It wasn't until I released it and I let go and it wasn't a family secret anymore. And I was able to talk about it, to write about it. That I let go and really let God because you you pray and you say, oh, well, I talk to the Lord. I read my word. But until you really look at him as a person, like I'm looking at you and talk to him openly and let him know this hurts. 
you know, I want to get through this. I want to move on to the next level. I want to be able to just feel like I'm part of something special and I'm not what I've been through. And until then, you you are not able to go on and you might go through it again or you might climb the mountain again because you're stuck in it. So until I was able to let go and let God, I feel like today I'm free and all the stuff I've been through, it's just what I've been through. I let it go. Wow. That's profound. So I'm looking right forward to what's to come, not what I went through. The, the past is gone. That's profound right there because as you, uh, as you, I articulate and share with us about what you have experienced and endured. I'm I'm sitting here thinking that mm, when I had gone through what I got, had gone through, didn't fully see the purpose, but the purpose was eventually um, it was revealed. Because mm-hmm. I believe that sometimes if we know all the pieces to the puzzle, some of us will say, God, we want to stand. And other of us are like, mm, why me? Why are you having me to go through this? Find right. somebody else. But as I hold my book called Preach a Prayer While You're Going Through Your Storm of Life, a book of miracles and our prayers and testimonies, I'm sitting here looking and I'll just read briefly, which I've um, shared with our listeners before. But at, it, it, it's, it's so real to me because um, I have my three year old son mm-hmm. with my cousin, uh, Rufus, who hops in, who blesses us oh, tremendously yes, mm, with the, the graphics, flyers, the yes. graphics. So we thank you, Rufus Hobson. You know, so for all of your graphic needs, please give him a call or shout out. Um, he is on Facebook. But I, I, I'm sitting here thinking how the two of them are out in the lounge and how I just turn to page 20 and it says prayer for rescue. Psalm 69, 1 and 3. Save me, O God, for the waters are come into my soul. I sink deep mirror where there is no standing. I come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying. Mm. My throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. And then the testimony gave birth prematurely in September 2001. I was sad because I knew that my baby was going to live for only a short period of time. In fact, she lived for only 20 minutes. According to the attending nurse, resuscitation was not an option for a baby whose mother gave birth before her six month of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I was three days away from my six month mark. I was devastated. I cried for a month. I thought that my ordeal was the worst thing that happened to me. Little did I know that God had a plan Mm -hmm. and a purpose purpose. for my life and my story. I received my healing a month later when my father was going to request request help on my behalf. I knew what that meant. A psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. (laughs) He was going to go crazy. <laughs> and not understanding and the against, grief, you know. don't even understand the process of grief right. and grieving. Right. And, and so, steps. yeah, so I decided to get on my knees to pray. And I said to God, please do not allow me to get up off of my knees uh, until I receive my breakthrough. While on my knees, I decided I had to I had cried for the last time. I could not bring my daughter back. A while after I lost my baby, I was given the opportunity to perform a burial for an infant who did not make it to even six months. As a result of my own loss and recovery, I have been able to encourage other women who have been traumatic, had traumatic experiences like mine. I have also created a conference called Give Birth to Your Purpose. Mm -hmm. And it's all new. As a result of that ordeal, I went on and said, God, I will help people to give birth to their purpose. I will help them publish their books, yep. help them set up their 501c3 Thank you, Jesus. and connect them. So that ordeal, that situation that happened to me, it was all a part of the purpose. And so we're going to just take a moment to just hear a little bit of this song. God is good in pursuit of purpose. God's love is indescribable. Wow. And you know, Pastor John P. Key always, his songs just always bless me. And we're going to hear a little bit of it. And I'm just so excited. But there's a song that he has said, you've been so good. Yes, yes, yes. You've been so good. Yes. And then I I won't let go. 
I'm, I, I'm, I'm standing in the need of prayer. prayer. Ooh, and the list to, goes yes. on and on. So oh, how wondrous. it's been a sure. blessing that for the last month or so, we've been talking about purpose. Um, we've talked about push past your pain to pursue your purpose. Mm -hmm. And so family and friends, we are excited because Pastor John P. Key is going to be on here on Celebrate Greatness, where greatness meets face-to-face -face here on our broadcast in another minute. We want to hear a little bit of one of his songs. On the street. Yeah. Oh, so glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hey, we're on Celebrate Greatness, where greatness meets face-to-face -face face. here on Radio 1 Spirit 1400. I'm Stephanie, your host, and I'm joined in the studio with my dynamic, dynamic co-host, better known as Robin. And in our absence from Minister Baylor, we are sending our prayers to you, Minister Baylor, yes, praying are. for speedy recovery. Well, without further ado, family and friends, help me to welcome Pastor, Pastor John P. Key, who is the pastor of New Life Fellowship Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I must say, I almost made it to the service last week when I was in North Carolina. Oh. I tried, tried to press my way, but I'm going to make it down there. Me too. I'm and he's together. the 15th of the 16th child, formed a choir at 13. Wow. God knew him before he was in his mother's womb. Mm -hmm. And it goes on. He played or cameo. He um, he has a powerful, profound story. Um, and he, I was saved through his ministry music my Amen. sister was delivered um, oh, yeah. another loved one was delivered from heroin and some more stuff Thank so the Jesus. list can go on and on but without further ado family and friends Robin help us to welcome Pastor, Pastor John P. Key God bless you God bless you God bless you I am so encouraged I like that song too by the way Anthony Hamilton I hadn't heard that one in a long time but I tell you I want you all to know I've been on the radio for with you for a while and I am so encouraged that tomorrow I've already decided to preach, give birth to your purpose. I'm, I'm excited Don't make about us, you that. Know, no, no, no. Don't make us drive a seven-hour ride to come in here. Because let me tell you. That tomorrow. You let, count on come that. on. Let me tell you. Pastor John P. Key, I almost lost my life in a complicated pregnancy in September 2001. And I asked God why. And God said, your pain will be for my glory, but That's there it. are people who are pregnant with purpose, and some of them are bored, and some miscarry. But I have to allow you to go through this. So, of course, the child gave birth. Fortunately, the child passed away. Um, but nevertheless, I end up birthing the ministry and helping people wow. publish their books, helping people to get their nonprofit start, set up, get helping them with funding. So God said, you needed to know this, but when the time comes, you will give birth. Earth. And listen, that's such a powerful ministry that you do. People take it lightly. So many churches have been hustled. So many churches mm -hmm. have been taken advantage of. And that kind of ministry with a covering of integrity is so needed in the church. Yes. But you know, when I heard your testimony just now, I thought of a scripture David said in Psalm 138 and 8, for the Lord will fulfill his purpose in me. So I need you to know and understand, although it was traumatic and he took that baby on back home with him, God still got the glory out of your hour. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, he and did. I want to share with you, Pastor John P. Key, I'm telling you, what a mighty God we serve that. I've been blessed. I'm a 42. I'll be 42 this year. I was blessed with a three-year-old. So um, God allowed for my physician, who was an OBGYN, to accept, uh, assist me. I had, um, I had set up her nonprofit, and little did I know that years later I would come to her and she would uh, let me know the status and that, and that I was pregnant. And she wow. made sure I got proper care so that the, the miracle could be manifested. So... Can I tell you something? That's what's so amazing about purpose itself. I've been teaching purpose for years because when you really jump into your purpose, you fall in line with the will of God concerning, listen to this word, your season. And that's what people need to understand. God's timeliness and his timelessness is all wrapped up in his hands. Yes. So we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. So I'm just encouraged. i tell you what, I know I was called to be interviewed but I have enjoyed you two sisters this morning. Thank yes, you. well, we are looking forward to uh, connecting and, and, and being in fellowship because we will be at that concert that you will be here in the DMV. 
Uh, yes. Wendy Dorsey, I had the opportunity to hear the segment on last week. And, and what's amazing was I was in North Carolina listening to the segment when you called in and Wendy <coughs> interviewed you. And, I, and it blessed me so much. And so Wendy happens to be my business partner, but I will be at the concert that will take place. Well, let me tell you something. The DMV is my second home. Mm-hmm. I have I've, I've owned a business with my business partner, Reggie Minor, there in D.C. for over 25 years. And I'm really, really excited. We own a security company called Falcon Security what? Company. And I'm really, really excited Falcon. to be. I say I'm coming home. Anytime you buy a ticket from Constitution Hall, you're sewing into my ministry. Yes. We've had that contract for years. Yeah, I did my research. So I'm just really, really, really <laughs> happy to be coming home. And listen, thank you for allowing my music to still be a part of the program. And I'm just so excited yes. because I need the believers that are listening to really understand what happened this morning. I called in, and we all just agreed in the spirit that this word purpose and, and pursuing your purpose is the ministry for this season. Job yes. said in 22 and 21, agree with God and be at peace. i tell you what, I'm at peace because I understand that there is something good coming to my stead. The scripture goes on to say, thereby good will come to you. So I just speak those same blessings on both of you and your ministries it. and what God's commanded you to do. Yes. Lord have now mercy. Now Pastor John P. Key. I love the P, the Prince. That's Prince, right? <laughs> That's what they name. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And I did my research. Your first album, Yes Lord, 1987. Yeah. Your first solo, Wait yeah. On Him, 1989. Yeah. My favorite album is Show Up, and it That's was nominated for a Grammy. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one right there. Show Up. Ooh, and all it. <laughs> oh, how wondrous. And, um, 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 you've been so good. That's yeah. a new one. And then I yeah. won't let go. And what my friend's um, favorite one is. Um, Life in favor was real good in that area too. Favor. What is her favorite? Oh, you know, pray, pray, pray. When we open up and we come in yes. sometimes. Yes. Lord, I'm standing. Okay. In the need, of need prayer. prayer. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, mm. Yes. And look, I wanted to ask you about um, conforming while performing. So, being able to know the difference. Well, a lot of people don't understand that, first of all, our worship and our praise cannot just be designated to that hour, two hours you have in church. I preached that on Thursday night past. We must understand that blessing God and giving God glory. When I heard you all this morning, I didn't just hear you talking on the radio. I heard the excitement of what God is doing in your lives being exemplified during a radio broadcast. We praise him in the car. We praise him on the job. Yes. Many of us have designated some room within our house where we give him glory yes. at home. So I think when you understand the premise and the foundational precepts and concepts of what worship and praise is, you know, you can't conform on stage and become something else. You have to understand who you are commanded and called to be. And then it just turns into straight up church service. When I get there, wear your soft shoes if you want to. I know already we're going to bless God in the place. Amen. Amen. Glory. So so do you preach to call or were you called to preach? <laughs> call to preach. <laughs> Yeah, listen to me. And I, I, I was in, I was in Michigan, Southfield, Michigan, at the, at, at the hotel, and, and with my face down, asking God what next. And He spoke to me. I tell people they don't believe it. He spoke to me audibly. I heard what He said. And I tell you what, our ministry started out as a street ministry. We were just feeding the hungry, and God has just really blessed us. Now we're one of the largest churches here in Charlotte, and I, I, our gift is that our four-wall structure is not where ministry stops. That's we right. go outside the four-wall structure with 52 it. great active programs, and God is reigning on our house. So there's not, what's the most passionate thing, preaching or singing? Oh, I love to teach the Word of God. Teaching. The singing okay. comes. Listen, I don't practice to sing. I ain't been to a choir rehearsal in 30 years. <laughs> Listen, it just happens. And what I mean by that, even last night, God gave me a song, If God Be For You. And I start writing it. Before I finish writing it, yesterday at 5 o'clock, I'm sorry, we had a recording session at 5.30. It's already recorded. It's already wow. in the ship channel to be a song in the next three days. Wow. So the music is, uh, uh, is the result of the Word of God being profound in my life. Yes, byproduct. I love that. 
How do you um, recognize when it's God? Let me tell you something that ain't hard. When it's God, it'll follow you. You'll remember it. It'll tag you. Some of the greatest songs ever written. The song that on the last CD, Life and Faith, that was so prominent in the country. That song literally came. By. Listen, this is the funny thing. I have a production room set up with a seven-foot Yamaha grand piano with all the pads and the tape recordings. And I never write in that room. God will inspire me and encourage me. When I finish teaching the Word of God, I go somewhere and sit down and hear from heaven. He always inspires me after the fact, right. after ministry. So I tell everybody, at the end of the day, I don't have to hunt, run, steal, grab songs. He continues to inspire me. I stood flat-footed up at a Stella Awards about 20 years ago and told everybody I was retiring. I was done. I was going home to preach and teach. And I tell you this, one of the greatest rewards, I call it my salary. I don't take a salary as a pastor. I don't take finances from the church as a pastor. Right. My salary is just to win the souls and for God to continue to inspire me with this music ministry. Yes. Oh, oh, you're so grounded. How do you stay so grounded? I know who I am. My kids call me daddy. My wife calls me husband. My friends call me John. I know who I am. When I'm literally <laughs> home, I, I'm not fronting. I'm not trying to sit out at the mansion with my feet up. I'm always doing something to pursue God's greatness. That's why when you start talking about purpose, you, you hit it on the head with me. You know, I love to fish. I love to relax and do. So I think I'm grounded because I remind myself daily who I am in God. I'm John and Liz's boy. I'm from the country. My it. kids asked me one day, say, Daddy, they got about... 10 bathrooms in their house now. Ask me, how many bathrooms did you have in your house when you were little? I say, first of all, I'm offended by the question because the bathroom wasn't in the house. It was outside in the back. So when you have those humble beginnings, you never forget where you came from. Wow, Pastor. Praise God. You and pa amazing. Pastor John P. Key, yes. our engineer, he is a talented writer. Yeah. And if I may ask, I'm going to ask him, how old are you? engineer he's 28 28 years old and he's in a studio and i've been knowing him since i've been doing my segment here um i've been doing the, the we've been doing the radio outreach for 10 years fundraising and doing broadcasts on uh, radio one and he because he does a lot of youth development he asked me to please ask you what words of encouragement do you have for the youth i want them to really understand there's a scripture that says for we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. At all points, he was tempted like as we are. We're living in an age and a season of temptation. There are so many things our kids have access to that we didn't. I'm encouraging the parents by encouraging the young people to stay in the children's lives and don't be afraid. He's 28 years old, and I'm so encouraged by his question because what 28-year-old you know that's interested in his own uh, uh, legacy, if you would, his legacy is going to be that he reached out and grabbed those while he was yet their age. That is so profound. Yes. I mean, who does that? I'm encouraged by the question. <laughs> because it. we've got to be in a position <laughs> to grab these babies. And if he's a writer and songwriter, he'll also agree with me that production on the secular side is geared to grab these little kids' ear to make them, you know, if I hear another little kid say, watch me nay nay, I want the kids <laughs> to understand at the end of the day, we have to develop and create. I want to encourage him as a songwriter, create some music to get their ear. I've got Lil Rufus, preferably Lil Rufus will be with me when I come up there. Lil Rufus grabs the ear of those babies, and they love it. I mean, they generally love what they're here. But what I really love is that the message that follows encourages their heart to know mm -hmm. it's cool to be a Christian. Wow, wow, that's deep. It's that's cool profound to be a right Christian. there. I love that's that. profound. Wow. So we want to let the family and friends know that they could come and hear you. You will be in the DMV on July the 11th um, at Showplace Arena at 7 p.m. I mean, this uh, I would say this ministry is being brought to you by Brothers Forever. And so, Pastor John P. Key, we want to just thank you for your time. We want to thank you for sowing into all of our lives today and sharing. So, in your last words, uh, you can you share in your last words or remarks you know what we can anticipate and and any closing words that you will have you um the floor is yours i just thank you for being on celebrate greatness where greatness meets face to face here on saturdays 
Well, I, I really want to say again, thank you so much for allowing me to, 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 to share today. I think today is a profound day, and I'm going to take it off of John P. Key and put it back on YouTube. Just what you were discussing and sharing with the people of God is just so profound. Uh, Jeremiah said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, mm -hmm. and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet. To the nations, God is calling you two to continue to do what you do. Thank you know, radio ministry people take it so lightly, but you don't know how many people you've encouraged to Thank not you. commit suicide, to not give Jesus. up, to pursue their purpose. You've ministered to more people than you know, and many of those people you'll never ever meet. So I say in my closing, let's all be inspired today to reach for the very thing that God's put within your reach. And I want to tell you this for the nation naysayers that don't believe in you, for the naysayers that say you'll never be, for the naysayers that say God could never use you, get your head up and know God commanded that ministry for you before you got here. And stay encouraged in the Lord and know that by faith, the very thing you pursue was preordained, hallelujah, predestined for your life. This is John P. Key. I love you all so much. We love you. Thank you. And I thank God for you. And I thank oh, I'm going to talk about this the rest of the day. <laughs> Y'all follow rest. me on Twitter at KeyTwit, K-E-E-T-W-I-T or Instagram. Key I'm going to talk about this interview right now. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm going to let Wendy Dorsey, she's listening all the way from Detroit, that you really was a blessing to us. And I look forward to meeting you on next Saturday. Listen, you will with no problem. God bless you. Thank you bless so much. You. God bless God you. God bless you. Ooh, Thank you. That was awesome. I tell you, God is moving. Yes, he's moving. He is That's moving in such a mighty way here on Celebrate Greatness. <laughs> Folks, you had just tuned in. Uh, if you just tuned in to Celebrate Greatness here on Spirit 1400, you're listening to Stephanie and also Robin. And um, the absence of uh, Minister Bela, we are sending out much love. We just want to thank Wendy Dorsey, uh, my business partner, for having Pastor John P. Key to come on to minister. That's what yes, he did. That's what he did. He uplifted all of he, our spirits. He confirmed some things for me. Thank you, Lord. Also, we want to thank God for your pastor. Oh, thank you, Bishop Clifford M. Johnson of Mount Pleasant Church and Ministries, 5000 Radicky Avenue. Come on over. 9 o'clock a.m. is our service, and then um, for every first Sunday, 4 o'clock for communion. Awesome. And also, we want to thank God for Rufus Hobson, and we want to thank God for everyone who's lifting up Celebrate Greatness. I remember a couple of weeks ago, a listener called in and said, well, I, she, she was thankful, and I'm paraphrasing, thankful that, that the station allowed us to come on. And we had to clear it and let them know that we are sowing into this vision. In other mm -hmm. words, because we believe in empowerment, radio empowerment, we do what we need to do to try to make it happen because we want to uplift you in the spirit. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to play a little bit of uh, Pastor John P. Key's song, and then we're going to um, we're going to give some um, highlights, and then we're going to do closing. But we thank you, and in pursuit of your purpose, um, know that God's love is indescribable. Indescribable. Yes, it is. Wow, what a mighty God we serve. You are tuned in to celebrate greatness where greatness meets face to face. And as we talked about today in pursuit of purpose, God's love is indescribable. And we are so excited. I'm Stephanie and I'm joined in the studio with my dynamic, one of my dynamic co-hosts, Robin. And uh, we just thank God for our our other co-hosts, and, and we praying for God's speedily recovery for her, Minister Bela Kennard. But we want to just thank God for um, Rufus Hobson, who does uh, such an excellent job weekly to uh, do our flyers. And for those of you who would like to be a part or would like to join and know more that we're doing on with Celebrate Greatness, you could uh, become uh, or like us on Facebook.com forward slash celebrate greatness now i'm on um on facebook uh stephanie poplar as well as robin or warrell thorn but we have rufus who is in the studio with us and he's from north carolina i would like for him to say a word or two deacon rufus hobson has been a blessing weekly he sows into the broadcast to make sure that we uh we present the broadcast well with graphics 
Um, I just wanted to say to to the listeners out there, continue to to press on and continue to pursue your purpose and know what God has for you in your life and know that his love is indescribable and know that, um, you know, you're not matter. You do matter. So continue to press on and and um, continue to pursue your purpose on what God has for you and what he has planted and instilled in your life. And you're a young man, and you've been doing graphic design. How long have you been doing that business? I've been doing graphic design. It will be, actually, this month will be eight years I've been doing it on my own, and, you know, it's 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 been good. And last but not least, you are a deacon. Mm-hmm. So what last words? Because this week you've had to be my arbitrator, my mediator, my prayer warrior. He had to light out. He had to put out a couple fires because as you are pursuing purpose and greatness, the adversary will come and mm-hmm. use any and everything. But he said prayer and know the source. And know the, Exactly. Know the source and know that um, when and the enemy comes in like a flood, know that, you know, you can just withstand and hold on and and. And, you know, fight, 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 fight yes. and and press forward and know that 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 God is with you. And my favorite scripture is um, Proverbs three and five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding and with all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And, you know, that that scripture, uh, you know, it talks about a whole lot of things. Trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding. So whatever you're going through, don't don't. You know, do not lean on to your own understanding. Go to the source and go to God in whatever you believe in him for, whatever you, you know, you you're trying to get through. Well, we thank you for that, Deacon Hobson. And um, what, what church do you attend? I attend uh, Word of Life Family Worship Center in Salisbury um, under the ministry of Dr. Martha Starks. And you can visit us at Word of Life FWCC.org. Again, that's www.wordoflifefwcc.org. Awesome. Well, we want to thank you today for being a part of our segment, and we encourage you to tune in on next Saturday here on Celebrate Greatness, Spirit 1400. I'm Stephanie, uh, your host, and before I let you go, I want to let you know if you have any nonprofit formation needs you trying to form a nonprofit or establish a business, or perhaps you need your serve safe food safety management uh, training and or any insurance needs, do please give me a call, your midwife, to help you to give birth to your purpose. Robin? <laughs> Hello. Um, I am the uh, author, Robin Worrell Thorne, of How We Made It Over. And we'll also be doing, please hit me up on Facebook, Robin, W-O-R-R-E-L-L, Worrell Thorne. Um, we're doing an, we do an awesome monologue event where we go out to different churches and different venues, different, um, women's conferences, and we do our monologue event. And then all we ask is that we can do a book signing after your event. So, um, we do our monologue event free of charge, and then you can do a book signing after the event. We will be out on July 11th, so please give me a call. Awesome. So thank you. So don't forget to tune in on next Saturday to celebrate greatness where greatness meets face to face. What's that time, Robin, for us to go out and to empower the community, but most importantly, to stay connected to our source? Because we know God uh, uses people, places and things for our next level. But we must be encouraged and empowered. So last, without further ado, we want to thank our awesome engineer tk for being a blessing and and we want to thank pastor john p key and last but not least wendy dorsey awesome um great anointed business partner that i am thankful for so without further ado happy fourth of july may god bless you and may you stand on god's word and happy birthday brandon sepion from south carolina happy happy birthday Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe if you have not done so. Know that I love you for real, and I'll see you soon.